Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we're doing some theory crafting for Rainbow Six Siege. So this is a follow-up to a previous video I did, where it was basically a crackpot theory on what could be coming in the future. And now we know that actually something like it is coming. So we're going to relook at the evidence we currently have for it and try and figure out what the heck it is. So this all started with the cinematic from the beginning of the year at the Six Invitationals. Now, there was a airline ticket on Harry's table that said he was going to Athens, Greece. But of course, Greece didn't show up in the year four roadmap and we kind of just, you know, thought, oh, that's interesting. But we moved on and things continued. Then things started to bring us more evidence. So we got the mini battle pass and that had yet again the boarding pass but much clearer this time we could see that he definitely was indeed going to Athens Greece so again that was interesting then we got some text alongside this so it says this is not a plane ticket this is an invitation for a front row seat for the future of rainbow I call it the program you may well call it home another item from the mini battle pass that gave us some more clues was Harry's audio recording device and this gave us some clues about the program. As it says, it's going to be a tournament of champions. And we can also see that to do with it is some stadium restoration, team constitution or makeup or something like that, and TRM rules, which I'm guessing is probably similar to TDM rules, so team deathmatch. But of course, this would be team R match. So I wonder what the R could possibly stand for. I've been thinking about that for a long time. I've got no clue. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I was able to take all of that evidence and build up a theory in the last video that we were going to get some sort of tournament coming that would be really special. And you guys in the comments actually kind of put two and two together with the Greece and tournament. And it could be something Olympic based where we kind of have something which is obviously not actually the Olympics, but it might take a lot of kind of cues from the Olympics in order to make whatever it is the devs are working up to, which of course is taking them a full year to get here. And we now actually know that this is legitimately going to actually happen because we got this teaser in the reveal for the new season Shift and Tides. And this is a little teaser of what's coming at the six invitationals. Like the last six invitationals, we'll have some sort of cinematic that's going to go and be like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes long, and that'd be hopefully pretty cool. But we're also probably going to have some sort of in game event. Now, these days, because data mining has become so prolific in Rainbow Six Siege, I don't usually cover most of the data mine content now. I just leave that out of most of my videos. But I still keep kind of track of what's going on. So right now, it seems like there will be some sort of in-game event to go alongside the six invitationals, which does appear to have these uniforms that we see here. So of course, this is Caviera, Hibana, Thatcher, Pulse, and what people think is Sledge on the end there. However, ever since I first seen this, I wasn't so sure that was Sledge. So like I say, my new policy is not to cover so much data mine content or the plan is when I do. I only want to cover stuff that actually adds more questions to the mystery. And this is one I think is really good. So this is a data mined actual uniform for Sledge. And you'll notice that he's wearing a hat. He looks like he's got quite a different head from the guy we see here. And also he is wearing a blue badge with his name on it. If we actually look at Thatcher, he also has a blue badge, which makes me think the blue badge might actually be for attackers when it comes to the British uniform anyway. And we can see that Pulse with his American uniform has a white badge. Of course, he's a defender. And I'm wondering if this other guy being a white badge could also be a defender. So that would leave us with the potential this is actually either Mute or Smoke. Now Mute is 28 years old. I think this guy probably looks a little bit older. This guy looks about my age and Smoke is actually older than me at 38 years old. So I think this might actually be Smoke. Of course we cannot tell because we can't read the actual name badge and there's so little detail that we can't actually even figure out if it's a certain amount of letters or anything like that. So I think this might just be 
our first look at smoke with no mask on. Now, the thing that's against this is the fact that no data miner has yet found an outfit for smoke. So it's very possible this is actually just Sledge in the cinematic and maybe he just looks a little bit different in game. Anyway, back to the overarching theory on let's start putting everything together and figuring out what's going to happen. So of course we have the six invitationals in Montreal. There is going to be a CGI cinematic. There is a big connection to Greece and Athens, which could mean we're going to have potentially Greece operators in year five. We also have, of course, this mention of a stadium. Then we also see our operators actually walking out and we can hear the crowd of a stadium. The operators are all wearing their national outfits, so they appear to be going to a competition or tournament. We are kind of thinking potentially it's Olympic style because of the Athens and Greece connection. From everything that's been data mined, there will also be an in-game event as well. And of course, it's split into the nations. But I wouldn't be surprised if in the in-game event, we can actually team up with other nation operators because uh, I don't see the point of really limiting it that way. So what the hell is this going to be? And how would it work into a tournament? How would it work into something fun that we can do in-game? and also plays out really well in a cinematic. So I've been racking my brain about this in all different ways. I've had the idea that maybe this is going to be duos, maybe we'll have teams of two up against each other in a big stadium and having a lot of fun, you know, and seeing who wins. But the other one I thought of, which I really, really like, is taking situations and bumping them up like a hundred times. So situations is where we spawn in and we have to clear out like a kill house in a certain amount of time. And what I would love to do is to see that brought into a competitive element in Siege. So what if you, let's say you do spawn as duos, what if you spawn into a representation of Hereford, and actually the old Hereford, but we spawn in, it's been retextured to look like it's all made of like plywood and stuff. You know, something that can be easily set up over and over so that different teams can hit it. And the skybox, which is the environment around the map, we know that can be changed because we've seen that done with the April Fool's event where they made it look like it was inside bedroom. What if they change the skybox so that this actually looks like it's in a giant stadium? So you've got this representation of Hereford base inside a massive stadium. You know, the crowd's going crazy, you spawn in, and then you and your buddy have to clear out that house as fast as possible. Now, it won't be like situations where you're actually taking out kind of AI characters. I think you'd have randomly generated targets, just simple targets, really simple. But there'd be an objective in there too, something you have to retrieve and take out, and you also have to kill all the bad guys. So it'd be kind of randomly generated, but also quite simple. And at the end of it, you would get a time, and then that would go to a leaderboard and some of the best players in the world would be able to show up there and you could see how good you can do. And I think for a two week event, that'd work quite well. I think I'd be quite interested in that. I'd quite enjoy it. It'd be kind of trying to do it over and over and quicker and quicker. And let's say there's like five maps, some of the smaller maps and we bring them in. Maybe even some maps you can be bigger, but you have like closed off sections so that you know, it kind of limits it to make it quite quick. What if that was the special event? I think it kind of plays into the whole kind of Olympic style of it because you're trying to do it as quick as you can you're trying to be the best of the best and going up against and getting a leaderboard position would be quite cool and you could split that leaderboard up into you know gold silver bronze so at the end of the event you can be like all right I got a silver you know and that'll be like you know it'd be a lot of people that would get a silver but it would be kind of split up just so you, at the end of it you get something cool and of course some cosmetics as well for free and you wouldn't be firing live ammunition in these game types you'd be firing I don't know paintballs or something else in order to give it a, a different style from what we currently see now this is just one idea I've come up with of course we could have something that is team you know base we could have uh, something that's like duos against each other and like small custom maps that would you know spawn in like a stadium and things like that there's a lot they could do and i'd love to know what you guys can have theories on what this could be in the comments below because like i say they could really come up with just about anything that kind of fits into this whole stadium and tournament style they could even go even closer to the olympics and have like crazy stuff and i kind of feel like this is not just for some special events for some nice cgi I kind of feel like this could be leading towards a whole new game and a whole new esports game, but very different from Siege, still Rainbow Six, but maybe going a completely different way with it. Um, but I don't know if I'm just looking too far into it now. 
of course, I've been kind of theorizing about this for quite some time, and it could go any way. You know, it could be real simple or it could be real complicated. It could just be a nice, cool event they're going to get and some cool cosmetics, and that could be it. But the fact that they've been teasing it for a full year makes me think they are definitely up to something more than usual. Anyway, guys, that is my crazy crackpot theory going over what I think could be coming with the six invitationals and the beginning of, of course, year five. Let me know what your crackpot theories are. And do you think we might actually get Greek operators with season one of year five? Of course, there's not been any leaks about the nationalities of the year five operators yet. So uh, I'm excited to see who might be joining us in year five. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.